Hey guys, what's going on? If you've ever seen the movie Sin City, you would notice an effect used throughout the movie where one object is isolated and in color and the rest of the scene is black and white. This is what I refer to as the Sin City effect. Let's take a look and see if we can create a similar effect in Final Cut Pro using secondary color correction. Welcome back to Color Correction in Final Cut Pro. I have a perfect clip to try this effect out on and if you want to follow along with me, I'll leave a download link in the description. What I've done is separate the clip into a different segment every time there's a cut to make applying this effect a little bit easier and more precise. So let's get started. Let's leave the umbrella in this clip a nice bright pink and make the rest of the clip black and white. We'll select the third clip in our timeline where the girl's back is turned to the camera because it appears to be the easiest. Select the clip, open the effects browser, and apply a color correction effect to our clip. Now in the inspector, in color correction 1, click the mask button and select add color mask. Click the dropper anywhere on the umbrella and drag up until most of it is selected. Being careful nothing else in the scene is selected. Don't worry if there's still gray parts on the umbrella. You can always add colors to the color mask by holding the shift key and clicking the dropper on the part that then gets selected by the color mask. With the full umbrella selected, let's go into the color board, select outside the mask, and drop the global saturation puck all the way down to make our clip black and white. To make the umbrella pop a little bit more, let's select inside the mask and bump up the saturation. If your full umbrella did not get selected, you can always go back to the inspector, select the dropper and color mask, hold down the shift key, and click on the omitted area to add more colors to your color mask. Let's move on to the next clip and apply the color mask just like we just did. This time though, we can't isolate just the umbrella because there are other elements in the scene that are the same color. Luckily, in Final Cut Pro, we can combine the color mask with the shape mask for more precision. Go back to the inspector, click the mask button, and select Apply Shape Mask. Now let's bring in the feathering ring, resize, and position our mask over the umbrella. Let's take a look. Much better. Now let's go back to the second clip in our timeline and repeat these steps once again. But this time, watch what happens when we play back our clip. Our subject moves, but the shape mask remains where we initially placed it. What we can do is use keyframes to animate the shape mask to move with our subject. Move the playhead back to where the umbrella just enters the shot, and let's move our shape mask over it. Now, in the inspector, let's add a keyframe here by clicking the keyframe button beside shape mask 1. Now, use the forward arrow on your keyboard to advance the scene a couple frames, and move and adjust the shape mask so it stays over the umbrella. As soon as any changes are made, another keyframe is added to our mask effect. Go through the entire clip and add as many keyframes as necessary. The more keyframes we have in our clip, the more precise our tracking will be. Now, if you skim over the clip, you can see the shape mask moves with our subject. Now, let's apply this effect to the remaining clips and review our project. So, with Final Cut Pro Secondary Color Correction, we just replicated an effect using a number of major blockbuster movies, such as Sin City, Pleasantville, and a few scenes in Schindler's List. This just goes to show you how powerful Final Cut Pro is, and what can be achieved with it. If you enjoy my tutorials, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.